So, this is my cardigan almost ready. I just completed the length of the cardigan of the body. As you can see, I put uh, 20 more rounds and I work five rounds with a uh, uh, rows, sorry. And I worked five rows with uh, one color, then I changed color and then again a set of five rows and so on for a total of 20 rows and I completed also one sleeve and for the sleeve I worked also 20 rounds so this is what I have so far now I want to show you how to complete the sleeve so to work the sleeve in order to complete all the cardigan and uh, that's it. Then I want to put a border all around the cardigan. I work the, um, as you can see, I, I don't know if you really, yes, a little bit like this, because I just want to show you, yes. As you can see, I um, work a little bit on the upper part uh, around the so the neckline I shape it a little bit I put the three or four 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 or five <laughs> rounds uh, rows of uh, single crochet and from 130 stitches in three rows I decrease so you have to I decreased so you have to decrease really uh, slowly, okay? So you don't, not in one row, but in two or three rows, or four actually rows, um, take, um, put as many as you need to create a decrease, a, a slowly decrease. So it's not that you have to decrease in the into your first single crochet row around the neck to create the shape of the neckline, you have to decrease from 130 um, stitches that we have, uh, you have um, to decrease um, half, okay, no. I decreased, as I said, in um, three or four, I just don't remember, rows. And now around the neckline I have 84 stitches, so from uh, 130 now I have 84 stitches so um, actually and for me it's okay uh, actually I don't know it's randomly you don't have to I don't know it's not something that I can say it's randomly you can put your decreases mm, as you wish <laughs> and um, it's just you have to shape your neckline that's all okay so this is my cardigan finish so this is the neckline and the hand oops the sleeve sorry okay and and that's all. I I didn't make any increase or decrease. I just go on and work with my 60 uh, shells and this is what I have. Another thing that I want to say to you is that uh, when you when you divide the body from the sleeves you can just um, balance how many shells you have you want to to leave for the body and how many shells you want to put for the sleeves okay so it's not that you have to put uh, the number of shells that i put for my uh, to divide my um, cardigan so this is what i don't know the most important thing is to put a number an, an equal number for the body so for the uh, right side and the back side of course of the body and an equal side for the sleeves, for both of them, because of course we want two sleeves that are 
identical. Okay, so um, that's it. Now I just want to show you how to work the hand, the sleeve, and um, I will show you the the border. But the border is really really easy. It's just we go on and make. For me, of course, you can put a a uh, I don't know a more complicated border if you want to. Uh, fancy border, I don't know, but I just want to put uh, to let it like this. I like it like this, and I will just put a uh, single crochet border. Okay, so let's go on and uh, finish this cardigan. Okay, so here I have the uh, 13 shells for my uh, sleeve, and I just found uh, out that. Uh, it was a little bit larger than I expected to be, so I thought I can, I, I could a little bit um, make it smaller, and I just work the shells with the, just one chain space in between them. Okay, that's all. So, and it's really, really, as you can see. There is no difference, but it's a little bit smaller, not that large. Okay, so now, I don't know how to put it in order to make you understand. This is the idea of uh, making a tutorial, doing a tutorial, sorry. Okay, now into the first shell. So here I have, this is the part of the... Uh, body and this is what I have here my 13 shells so I will insert my hook into the first shell into the chain 2 space of my first shell and chain 3 for the first double crochet and another double crochet to complete my first part of the shell so I said I will put just one chain so chain 1 in between the shells if you want it uh, you want your sleeve smaller or you cannot, you can uh, just don't chain. So just work four uh, double crochets, but not now. You just have to work with a chain one, about three or four, four or five, sorry, uh, rounds, and then you can um, make it smaller by working. Only the four stitch, the four double crochets. So without any uh, any chain in between them. So just four stitches, okay? So now I just want want to go on and work my first shell round of the sleeve, okay? With a chain one in between them. Oops. So in between, into the slit, into the shell pattern, non, not in between the shells. Okay, so I dub, um, work two double crochet, chain one, and two more double crochet. So instead of chaining two, I am chaining one. Okay, now just go on and work my shells around. The sleeve if you, if for you it's okay with chain two actually for my cardigan the the blue one that I uh, showed you at the beginning of this uh, tutorial is um, work with uh, worked with uh, chain two space in between the shell so on the sleeves too so with the same oh my gosh okay I am here it's a little bit difficult because in front of the camera I don't have really a very super professional camera so so I can um, oh 
Okay, now I have. Oops. But you can see I'm working all around the sleeve. And at the end of this row, we will make a round. So we will just um, join with the beginning shell and we will work in rounds. I said for the sleeves we work in rounds. It's easier. Okay, here we are. Chain one and two more double crochets into the same chain two space and again into the next oops into the next shell two double crochets chain one and two more double crochets okay and this is my last shell how can I put this okay and this yes like this and this is my last shell of the sleeve okay so I'm working my last shell two double crochets chain one and two more double crochets one and two good now we want to join the last shell worked with the first one and we insert the hook into the third chain from the uh, beginning chain three so insert the hook into the third chain of the beginning chain three slip oops slip stitch to join and that's it this is what you have to do to join into each of your rounds for the sleeve now to begin we want to begin into the chain one space with the first shell of course so we will slip stitch into the second we don't chain we don't nothing just slip stitch into the next double crochet slip stitch into the chain one space or chain two depending on what you choose how you choose to work the shell and now we are ready to begin our next round so chain three again for the first double crochet and go on and work your shells so another double crochet for the first group of two double crochets chain one and this is two double crochets more and this is our first shell okay so that's all now here we have a huge hole but it's okay this is something that we can we we will just at the end we will just uh, sew okay so it's it's incredible easy to work this now I will go on and work my hand my hand yes my hand my sleeve like this so one shell into each of our 13 shells then you already know how to join and how to begin another round and that's all so it's really really easy it's the easiest pattern I think <laughs> maybe not the easiest but it's really easy okay so go on and work uh, this uh, sleeve I will go on and work um, complete this sleeve too or maybe not complete only with this color so I will work uh, five rounds and then I will be back to show you how to uh, refine it so how to work the um, single crochet round all around <laughs> okay all around the border of the cardigan okay so and that will be the last step for our cardigan so I finished my first five rounds with one color and I will go on with 15 more rounds to complete my um, other sleeve too as I did here so this is the sleeve that I completed okay but now I want to show you how to put the border all around the cardigan so here I am I will use this green 
and I will begin here on the back side of the neckline, so in the middle actually, and I will work only into the front loop because as you can see I worked like this all my stitch all my uh, rows for the neckline so that's why you can work it normally okay and now I just want to go on with single crochet all around working only in front loops as I said because only because okay single crochets and I will finish the half part of, of the neckline and then where when I am here I be back to show you so I am here at the end of the neckline and I just want to go on to continue on with my on the side where I have the border actually the five uh, double crochets border and I will work around these stitches but now first of all into the corner you just have to put three stitches so one two and three okay and now I will go on and work my my single crochets here and now I finished with my can you see I finished with my um, single crochets and now I want to work around the double crochets I will work two for around one double crochets crochet so two single crochets around one double crochet so this was the first one and now this is the second one and I am trying to work into the double crochet not around but actually into it because if we will work around we will create a gap and we don't want to and now here okay one and two now into the green one okay so try to work into the double crochet not actually around the stitch but into the stitch okay so two double crochets around one uh, two single crochets sorry around one double crochet okay one and this is the second one around one double crochet now one and this will be the second one okay so two one and this is the second one now into the yellow stitch one and this is the second one okay now into the gray one and second one okay so just because we want to have something nice okay so go on all around all until you are at the at the last 
border row here and I will catch you up and I will show you how to work on the shelves. Now I finish finished this part okay with the single crochets and now I am here and into the corner I will put two more double single crochets one and two so in when you are into the corner just put three single crochets instead of one and now we are actually working oops sorry actually working on the stitches so into the stitches one two three four and five okay and now here we are we have our shells and I will work one two and into the chain two just because I want to make something nice I will work one two a pico one two single crochets of course into the second make a pico and another single crochet okay you just can work three single crochets into the chain two space but I decide can you see it's just something to create a little border here okay and in between the stitches a slip stitch and go on with one single crochet two single crochets and into the chain two space one single crochet another one single crochet and a chain three close the pico and one more single crochets so actually there are three single crochets the second one is with a pico and again one two in between the shells make a slip stitch and go on one and two okay so this is what I have so far and I think it will be a nice edge really easy and nice edge okay so if you want it you can just change you can just make put something else of course it um, depends on you okay now I finished the border all around my uh, cardigan okay here too and the last step that I want to show you is how to sew it here in between the the division where we divide the body from the sleeve turn it upside down and of course we will sew only this part so actually we have two double crochets and two here so four double crochets to <laughs> sew of course with the same color we don't want okay I need my okay now I'm ready oops so only into the back loops okay oops and sew it for good because we don't want to have problems okay and that's it I will make a knot here 
here and some stitches just to secure oops my camera and I finished now turn it on the right side and here it is okay so this is what we have now it's all okay I will just finish my hand my hand yes my sleeve and I want to put the same edge that I put here around the sleeve okay that's it so hope you enjoy this tutorial and you will succeed in making this uh, nice cardigan and really really easy see you at the next tutorial